So here I'm going to de demonstrate to you the the how easy it is really to put together pages, uh, landing pages within Kartra. Um, starting with you have the main Kartra dashboard here, and this this really just gives you a um, a summary of various different metrics. But if you go onto the left hand side, you've got the range of menus, and we're going to select my pages, which is really the uh, area where you're going to put together. Uh, any type of landing page. What you have is that brings up a list of the pages you currently have. And you'll notice here there's um, these quick launch pages. This is something I, I set up based on some pre-made pages that come with Kartra. And these are quite useful if you want to have a, a pre-made, tried and tested funnel. Uh, these have, have come from um, Frank Kern who's a pretty seasoned marketer and understands how to uh, produce a whole range of different funnels uh, to get visitors into uh, basically to buying product so that's what this is for but what I'm going to do here is look at how you take a page uh, from a template and to start with on the bottom right here you see we have create a new page. This is pretty standard on Carter. If you go through the various different sections, you'll see that there's the button at the side, which tells you really where you start. Um, click on that button. And what you have is then the option to decide whether you're going to build a page from scratch, uh, which I wouldn't recommend. It's probably more appropriate to go through some of the uh, different types of templates. You can have templates that you've made. This is one I made earlier. Um, squeeze pages, which is, is more of a, uh, a page that gets people to do something fairly quickly. You can preview these. You can see what they actually look like. Again, pretty well laid out, very well thought out. But all this is customizable. So you can take this, take something that you like, the fields, you like the number of fields. You have content that goes in them. But you can change each of these as you go. Uh, video sales pages again similar sort of setup you've got um, a range of different pages which you can select or unselect just by clicking on it um, again take a look at some of these through a preview you can see the sort of page you've got room for headline video and then option to actually buy something and place it in a cart this is pretty standard layout thank you pages um, Again, quite a range of different pages you have here, uh, which you can add once people have opted in. So again, we take a look at the preview here. Pretty standard, put your logo in a picture, and whatever message you want, you can change the colors. These are all pretty standard. Um, one that's very useful really is the long sales pages, and we'll come back to these a little bit later. Um, but again, preview this, and you can see quite a lot of field choices. Uh, you put your logo, headline, video, option to sign up and then some more information about the actual product as you go down the page. Coming soon, again this is really pre-launch pages, we'll take a look at some of these. You can see it's just a single page but it has a countdown, it has details of when things are going to be coming in much in the next uh, few days. So again pre-launch, product launch, much the same sort of thing. Where you have something a little bit longer which goes into details about a forthcoming product. Similar to the long sales page, maybe not quite as long, but again, gives you some options for producing a product launch. Product review, again, not as big a selection here, but gives us something to work from to say whether you maybe here want to uh, review a particular product. And I'll do that again because it didn't quite load. And you can see, again, you've got a headline, but you've also got sections where you can talk about different products further down the page. Uh, webinar registration, fairly self-explanatory, and again, a whole range of different options in here um, where you can have people sign up for a webinar uh, of various different types. Um, there's another one here, which, again, fairly straight to the point, gives you the intro, chance for an image, different feedback. Check out pages, again, whole range there. We'll pick one of these and just see what you can look at, which talks about your product and different ways you can actually check out. Take a look at another one further down. Again, a little bit more involved on this one, but again, the same sort of structure. And again, all this is customizable, everything you have here. Four or four pages are fairly standard. 
Um, nothing particularly strong there, but again, you can use that to, you know, if someone goes wrong on your site, you can put some messaging there to get them back into the right place. Upsell pages. Um, again, if this is something that you would put in after you uh, ask someone to buy an opportunity to get something slightly better uh, by upgrading. So to thank you for your order. This will place in as part of that, that sales funnel we talked about earlier. So let's go back to the long sales page. What I'm going to do is take a, uh, a selection here. And once you select something, you notice at the top here, it comes up to the option of launch builder. And this, this consistent green is, is great because it guides you towards what you should be doing next. So we'll click on that. Give the page a name. We'll just put it in as a test sales page for the moment category I'm just going to put it under the category of sales page again these are categories I've created and you can create as many of those it helps you organize the pages into different uh, sections within your um, landing page structure index I suppose you would call it so you can see here you've got all these fields are customizable so you, you hover over it and you get the opportunity to duplicate it you can delete it you can also uh, change the, the sizing and the location of the page. And the obvious one is to edit it. So we'll go with this text here. And again, it's it's giving you two choices where you have text. You can go in and, and edit the actual look and feel, the style. Um, you can change the margins, the location. You've also got the ability to change the text, which again, this here, I may want to change the color. So I select the text. and pick a different color I can change the font and pick something different change the size a whole range of different things you can do basically everything you would want to do with it you can move it around you can put links to it it's pretty powerful stuff so that applies to all the text boxes they all work the same way in the video here video is pretty good because another section within Carter is actual video hosting which are cover in another video but you have the opportunity again to change what's in here you can go and find a video have a Kartra hosted one I've got some here that I can just put one up take a look at it up it comes or you may have a video from YouTube or Wistia or Vimeo you've got all these options you can bring in you can have it set to autoplay can be a bit annoying but it's something that might give you an initial impact you can put controls on there for people to stop and start or move it forward. You can have it muted in case, again, if it's someone's in an office environment, they may not want the volume up straight away. And you can also change the sort of skin color around it. Uh, different things that give you a feel for what you're trying to do. So that's the video. I'm going to change that for the moment. Ability to sign up. So again, you can change the look and feel of this in the same way. So it gives you options to change the style, the color, the actual text itself. Again, different wording, different fonts, everything you really need, you can change. The icon is the little symbol you can have at the side. At the moment, we haven't got an icon, but you can put one on, it'll display it, and you can choose what it is. And again, it's a standard set of icons. You can put an ambulance in there, apply it, and up it pops. No good reason for that, but just showing you what you can do. You can put a link in there, you can link it to a URL, you can link it to one of the other pages, you can link it to a video player. It's just really unlimited what you can do. Further down, more text, again another icon, you can change the colors in these. Decide you maybe want it to be slightly different. You can go in and, and put it in as an orange, apply that and it changes. Same with the text down here. These are all individual text blocks. If you decide you don't want one, just delete it. You decide you want one sort of maybe just edit the coloring on it you can change again the margin you can change the text you can copy it you've got two copies there it's just so much flexibility what you've also got on the right hand side here is the ability to change the whole field itself so you click on edit there and it then allows you to it maybe put an image in there you can put an image in and see what that comes up with so let's just put this young lady in here see what comes up apply it and suddenly you have a background obviously not what we want here but very easy to undo that and take it away 
um, opportunities to do a whole range of different things. If you'd like a field and you want to duplicate it and then maybe change the wording, you've got that ability. You can move it around. You know, click on move and this whole thing will go somewhere, somehow. Not quite sure how that works. Still learning some parts of it. You can put code in there. You can save that section as a template in its own. So again, if you get a particular section, maybe it's something that uh, is general on all your pages, maybe some navigation, you can have that as a template and then you can just add it in. Further down, you've got the ability to change uh, the layout on these. Maybe again, bring another image in. Uh, I've got some other ones here. Select it, confirm it, <coughs> apply it, and suddenly you've got an image. Simple as that. Same with the text here. Maybe I want this to be a different color. Go in, change it, we'll put it in as red orange even this one here again you can just change the wording and just type in and simple things like that change the size change the font make it universal pretty straightforward again pretty flexible ability here to put in an image um, I will say this image can be a bit challenging getting the right size. Um, this particular one is probably 1024 by about 425 is a good size. Um, and have it so that the whole page is the image and have what you want to see on the right hand side. That's something I found out. Um, um, you're pretty easy to move these things around and change them around, but that's just something I found took a little while to get that image in the right place further down more fields and again if you decide this field isn't for you you can just take it and you can just delete it and it will go away make sure there that you're sure about it so it's a good check there and away it goes and then you're starting to move down lots of different fields on the sales page here this is a long sales page so some of this stuff you may not need um, but again you can edit the look and feel this one's got a background here you can change you can drag it around if you want to just move it when it goes green drop it in and suddenly that's moved to somewhere else delete that in fact we'll just undo those again really easy to just go back into from different parts of the page again you can change these icons if you don't like them or you can delete them but we'll take one there we'll change it from this ball hole to a briefcase we'll change it maybe to a, a sort of a blue color and apply it and away you go it's applying that now It'll delay that one. I think I've probably gone a little bit quicker than my computer. There we go. So all flexible. These sort of things can move around. Again, you can drop it down. That's just moving the text, or you can move the whole block. Different ways you can do it. Again, drop it to where it's green there. In this case, that's not really going to help because it's already there, but we take it down maybe to this one. A little fiddly, but very easy to deal with. There we go. That in down here. And there you go, you've moved down. So, pretty flexible. You've got the ability to see a tablet view, see a mobile view, pretty much see anything you want in terms of layout so you can test it on different devices what you've also got is is some master settings on the side here which again are useful to point out general settings you can put in some of the seo page title meta, meta title basically things that's going to make the page noticed on things like google and, and, and bing and other search engines tracking code this is something that actually works very well uh, allows Carter to track when people are on particular pages so if you say send an email to somebody you just direct them to the page they go and click on a link you can track all that with different codes that you can put in here you can put your Google Analytics in here again pretty standard stuff but all very useful tags again more SEO but you can put in tags in this case really it's more to do with navigation so you can tag this particular page and put it into say a sales funnel type so again you can get back to it again styles this is a general look and feel of it you've got general styles page width page background you can change it you can change the background to a different color see what that does it probably make things pretty horrible but we'll try it and that 
In fact, hasn't done anything very much. But there we go. Um, custom styles. You can actually go in there and look at the CSS code. Again, further down the page, you've got the option to look at pricing. You've got FAQ. Every section you would need is available. You may not have information for all of these. You may want to go for a shorter page, but you can really go at the length of this. And you've seen some of the larger, longer sales pages that some people use to really convince you to buy a product. This is one of those pages, and it really does look good straight out of the box. So going back over here again, sections, you've got different blocks and sections that you can bring into the page. So we wanted to put a top menu in over here. We can drop it in. Let's try that again. Again, you can go and edit that. You can put in a different image. Upload that one. Confirm apply and suddenly it's over there so again you've been able to change that change the look and feel of it components we talked about sections again same sort of thing really you can add a complete section you can add columns you can add headlines and have a button put a button here drop it in on the green line let's try that again and there it is edit it Maybe we want to move the button around, put a margin on it. We'll do a um, left margin. Let's make it a bit bigger. Apply. And again, you've moved the text around. Change the look and feel of it. Change it to a squared. Apply. And again, you've got a different button. Really clever stuff. We can add a video. We'll add a video and let's just put a video in again we're getting probably a little silly here but we might as well try it so there's a video there obviously pretty small in that location you can move it to somewhere else drop it down here once it goes green there you go you got a video pop up windows Again, not the sort of thing you want to do too much of, but it's good for attracting attention the moment they're off, but you can put one on. And suddenly there's a bunch of windows, so we'll put a, a drop here. And it's there, it's going to pop up in the middle of the page and catch it. You can have an exit pop up. Everything you really want really is going to come in this. So again, we'll undo that. We don't want one of those. In fact, let's just close that down first. Done. And undo. So alert bar. You've heard of sort of things like hello bar, which and this is the sort of thing that you can put in to sort of go along with the page. You can put things in there to sort of have drag people's attention as they go down the page. It's also worth mentioning you can actually lock the top bar in as well. So if you had like a menu up here with links to the other parts of the page, you can push that in here and I really do quite a lot with it. So again, put a logo in here. I'm going to change that now. Change an image, put in my logo, confirm, and apply. And there we go. All pretty good stuff. Help desk, display a help desk icon. You can put the card to help desk. You can have your own help desk set up. I've got mine here. Apply it. And there you go at the bottom so if someone wants to ask any questions they can ask you click on the link and it will either go to an email a chat whatever you set up all really clever so that gives you a, a, an overview of how you edit and put together landing pages within Kartra pretty slick and this all integrates in with the other components of Kartra so I'm going to leave that and you can see you've got things like campaigns, products, forms, all this can be integrated in um, so that you have a complete total integration. Um, very good.